drawing women into the mainstream of development will widen women's economic choices, but it will also liberate their minds and spirits. The conference started debating on the, uh, uh, how empowerment and universal education and all these related things started coming up. There was a total shift in the focus, so that was very interesting. And most important thing, I think, uh, in Cairo, what came up was the reproductive health. Today, the health and quality of life of our women and children has improved significantly. Two things that has greatly contributed uh, to us achieving the ICPD uh, goals. One is, of course, the visionary kings who has, over many years, nurtured our health systems to where it is today. Second is the role our Her Majesty played as in the capacity of a UNFPA ambassador, but also in her own capacity as the Queen Mother in terms of really advocating for women's health in the country. During my initial health advocacy campaigns, I witnessed firsthand people's reluctance to participate in our open forum discussions. It has taken great commitment, dedicated efforts, and several rounds of advocacy tours to break their inhibitions and stigma surrounding these sensitive topics. Bhutan has a very difficult terrain. Places that you can hardly reach by even using a bike. You have to walk. We had our goodwill ambassador, the Queen Mother, walk miles and miles in the early stages of her work and even to date. In spite of that, I think Bhutan has managed to reach the unreached. We have been guided by this uh, development philosophy of gross national happiness. We are trying to, besides focusing on socio-economic development, our emphasis is also in terms of preserving and promoting our culture and tradition our environment and good governance. All the policies uh, that we adopt will have more social component that ultimately will translate to public being benefited, that ultimately will translate to individuals getting some sort of satisfaction in being human being on this planet. There is lots of changes that we have brought in. It's a very uh, effective and um, very useful training, which I feel that every nurse should have it in order to maintain their competency and also to improve their competency in providing maternity care. We have made great progress, I would say, in the last 25 years. My mother gave birth to 11 children and then one of them is me and we have eight of us living today. And that time it was never heard of family planning, never heard of reproductive health services and then they never went to hospitals to seek services. Brother, sister relationship, what else? Talking about sex was a taboo initially because of the culture and the beliefs ingrained in Bhutanese uh, society. Now we talk openly about sex. We have introduced life skill education to all the nunneries and we have reached all the nuns. Then they begin to know of their body, their rights, then how to protect their body, how to manage their health and everything. <laughs> We have now youth uh, YPR uh, networks in our colleges uh, and in training institutes. This YPR network helps us to grow, to grow wiser, to grow smarter. YPR has brought, brought a lot of changes in 
my generation as compared to my parents' generation. I even talk about menstruation with my sister. I buy sanitary pads to my sisters. The disturbing facts emerging from my close interaction with women gave me a sense of purpose and an added impetus to take up their cause. This led to the birth of Renew. The organization is dedicated to vulnerable and marginalized women and girls of the Bhutanese society. When the community-based support system network uh, was born uh, in the entire country and with support from UNFP. A volunteer like me, it gave platform for us to acquire knowledge uh, and skills to help such women in the community. We do have a right to express ourselves, express our emotions and we have right to protect ourselves from any type of violence. It was in, I think, 2005 that um, uh, I was given the responsibility to, to actually start the first Women and Child Protection Unit in the police. At the moment we have 13 such Women and Child Protection desks all over the country and we have plans to set up more in the other districts also. Looking at all these changes that took place over the last 25 years is very amazing. I feel very proud and then I'm very much satisfied that we have been able to bring this much change in this country. I think it is basically a combination of having political will and commitment from the highest level to the determination, the hard work, the integrity of our health worker and of course not to forget our partners such as UNFPA who has been on this journey with us to really achieving where we are today. I want free healthcare to continue for generations to come. I want the educational sector to be doing very well so that people of the world look up to Bhutan as standard for education, standards for knowledge, know-how, must be up to date. We will all be able to see Bhutan shine and present their report to the world and hopefully be able to say that no one is left behind.